Welcome back to Duckman Cycles MVW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> We're going to go visit Wild Bill, who's still working on that 1776 engine. He was having some troubles with some linkages, throttle linkages, just coincidentally, among a few other things that he wants me to have a look at and see what we can figure out. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, block the dingle bell. You see down our nice subscribe button. That way you get updates every time I upload a video. And don't forget, Duckman Cycles and VW Garage up on the Facebook group page. And if you'd like to email me, duckmancycles at duckshit.net. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it, and uh, we'll be back right after the intro. Boom. There it is, Fastback made it to Don's garage. Minus a piece of trim because it fell off. Oh, no. It was getting Dude. snagged on my pants, so I got pissed and just pulled it off. So. Why, don't you, uh, <laughs> why don't you go back and get it and we can fix it? Yeah, it needs new clips and everything anyway. Yeah, yeah. And as you know, the bodywork on the other side has got a bunch of rust holes. This side's not looking much better. Yeah, you might have That's to. mostly surface rust, so I'll tear into it and see what we got. But let's see what we got going on over here. I see this pretty awesome looking tail peep you got sticking out. Not me. Don't associate me with this at all. That's not your tail peep? No. Look at that tail peep. Wow. It's a bomb. <laughs> it's a bomb exhaust. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I thought you said it was longer and more dramatic than that. Uh, I was expecting long. all the way out to nah, here. That's long That'd be like one of those Japanese racer, uh, racer things. Oh <laughs> no, all right. What are those things called? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> the big <laughs> front spoiler that sticks out about 15 feet. Right, with the bullwinkle horns. Mm. <laughs> Not pretty. All right, let's set this tripod up here. All right, what we got going on here today, dear Bill? Yeah, I'm going to try to get. Some modifications done to the ignition, I mean not the ignition system, but the accelerator system. You don't sound very enthused. I'm not because I'm very disappointed with our uh, MP manufacturers that would manufacture an intake manifold that there's no practical way for it to actually work. Uh, the straight line that the cable comes from the accelerator pedal is directly behind this. Right behind one of the stacks, huh? Yep. And uh, you can't really move it over because you can't relocate where the cable goes through because of the oil cooler. Um, right. So, and then the... Which it should work in the stock location anyway. Well, but. it should. Plus, look how sloppy that should be. Not like that. No. So, really came that loose? Yep. Holy crap. You get, you've get you got spaces here to position the thing, but that's still not going to do you any good when the accelerator is mashed or throttled. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's kind of slinging it when it does it. So it's, it's just subject to a lot of wear right there. So I don't know what you could do. Put a, a real thin Teflon bushing in there. It'd have to be as thin as a really soda straw. You can't drill it either and put a, a, a bigger bushing in it because it's not enough meat. Well, that and it's cast aluminum. I mean, it's not going to... Uh, well, it makes it easy to drill, but it's going to wear. Well, not only that, it's very brittle. So you stand a chance um, of messing Cracking that. Cracking it up. down the yeah. road. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that could happen too. There's not, it's not enough meat to, to drill. It's fairly easy. So, hmm. went to, uh, at, um, advice from you, went, yeah. went to uh, one of the local bicycle shops here in town. Bike shop? Yep. And got the... Um, Armor-plated... Uh, <laughs> Harbor-freighted? No, armor-plated. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a harbor-freighted. Harbor-freighted. Um, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, this this is uh, got a hard plastic or rubberized shell around it, mm -hmm. then there's then there's a metal casing, Yeah. and then it has a Teflon insert. Oh, nice. Yes. Some of them don't even have that. No. So that, with the cable threaded through there, of course, you're going to have to remove the end little piece here on the end that the barrel nut 
uh -huh. grabs a whole tub. That's going to have to be eliminated, and um, then the wire fed down through this. And you then can actually replace that. There's a it's actually replaced maybe even the tube, too. You know. Yeah, replace the whole tube for certain. Yeah. All the way from the transmission, well, the fire will actually over the transmission, through the, the uh, fan, and then right out to the carburetor. Do the whole thing in one fell swoop. Yes, over the river and through the... Right, yeah. which is actually probably the way it should have been from Volkswagen to begin with. You should well, have had a it, very similar to a bicycle outer wire, just like mm -hmm. that right there. Mm -hmm. And run all the way through instead of having all these miscellaneous pieces that don't want to fit together and well, the damn it, tube that likes to slide out of the uh, <laughs> the fan and come at you and drive you nuts. Right, it just well, pisses you off. You can't keep it in place. Well, uh, there's minor things that you can do to keep it in place. Yeah, you like, put a zip tie on. Yeah, back a zip it. tie or a cape or you know a, a dang on. Doesn't make it a good design though. No. <laughs> um, now this, that is great. Yeah, you know, this particular one, and I don't know. It, it's probably too tight of an angle to even see it with a camera. Uh -huh. um, the cable actually sawed through the metal casing. Yeah, it sawed through the top of the transmission. Right. From running back and forth like a hacksaw. Yeah, and, and it don't make any sense. Why, why would they do something like that? But anyway. I don't know, but that, that's where they came from, factory. And there's so many of them that are like that. I've seen it a million times. It would take, you know, like 20, I guess they figured it would take 20 years for it to saw down through. Well, this is a 60, <laughs> 64. Um, getting pretty close to 20 years, I'd say. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. It's just funny so, that so many of them are like that, unless they have that outer wire. Yeah. So uh, we finally got the carburetors uh, working properly on this this particular car. Uh, the other night or the other day, when we were trying to make it run, uh, we were only running on two cylinders and getting spark. Okay. Yeah, we had and all four, and then two of them died later. Exactly. And then um, couldn't figure out what in the world's going on. Um, no compression uh, on this side over here. You could literally no compression. With, well, with the engine running, you could literally put your hand over this, and nothing was being drawn in. Didn't feel any sucky sucky. No. Yeah. And of course, all of the uh, exhaust piping was stone cold. Also, with the other side running, you know, like it's supposed to. So valve adjustment. I'm thinking. Uh, trying to think well maybe the valves are not doing what they're supposed to be doing or whatever mm -hmm. so we're going to pop the valve cover off and this is after Colin Kellogg who happened to be visiting here um, found uh, when I took the valve cover gasket off the uh, rocker arm assembly yeah. and associated two uh, nuts and washers lock washers fell out in my hand oh so Oops. basically that's that bank of um, cylinders uh, ex uh, valves were n not even open and closing. No. So I was happy to see that because yeah, it's easy problem fixed. solved. Right. And it was. And it, it uh, we got it in there yesterday and cranked it up and then um, made some noise and then Don got into Panic City and came uh -oh. out here. Oh, hi Don, how you doing? Uh, and and rigged up fine muffler. Po I love your clamping system. And uh, down on ugliest, the fine muffler ugliest setup. exhaust system I've ever seen in my entire Volkswagen career. Oh Fire no, it didn't work the first time. No, it blew it off without the clamps. How far did it fly? Yeah. Eh, about back to here. About three or four feet. That's pretty so. good. <laughs> but it was kind of neat. It was kind of... Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, uh, it changed pitch. Uh, so, what we're going to try to do today is to reroute that cable through this uh -huh. and then um, see if that would keep it up. Because right now what's happening because there's such a critical twist and that thing in order to get it fed up between the Y there, mm -hmm. uh, it's binding the cable up. So you can accelerate, but it, it's, the return is not on it. I, I guess if you put a spring on there the size of a uh, Super Beetle uh, McPherson strut spring that goes around, <laughs> it might pull it back. But well, I uh, put a return spring on the Fastback yesterday. Yeah. Just it helps put it back at idle. It's well, just, sure. It just needs to be there because of the, the throttle but cable if, so if, long. If that cable is coming back and fouling on mm -hmm. something underneath between the the tube, uh, I mean the uh, the tube where it comes out of the tunnel, back to the firewall. Yeah, we got problems. So that's that's the battle plan right now. And um, wanted to get started on a little bit earlier because it does make a lot of racket. And, oh. uh, yeah. What? But um, with the um, temporary muffler system that's on it, uh, it's going to be. Uh, Did you ever find the baffle? So, no. I was never asked for it. 
Yeah. Matt's head. I have one somewhere, though. Yeah, that's yeah. what Matt's head. Yeah. Lynn so, has a bathroom. He told me he didn't want it, so <laughs> I put it away. Now I don't know where it's at. He never asked for it again. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very deep <laughs> still loud, though. It's very deep, deep within the Oh, yeah. Crest. It's still loud with it. It's just it yeah. gets rid of the roar, and it turns it into more of a snapping loud sound. Well, it also gets rid of the, the back firing, you know, when you let off the gas stuff. Not really. Pop, 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 pop. Still does it. <laughs> open exhaust is open exhaust. It'll yeah. still do that. Well, anyway. Um, so that's... that's Rushing up your low speed, it'll help that. That's what we're going to do now. Um, Don, you mentioned something about having uh, that little end piece that goes on the end of the cable, like a cable extender. Yeah. Uh, An extender. And you went over to you went over to find it, but you never came back with it. Were you not able to locate it? Damn or? it, Don. No, I found it. Okay. I had it in my hand, but you, know, you were kind of busy, so I just. <laughs> close up. Oh, yeah. Actually, wide angle lens, so it wasn't as close as you think. It looked like you're about four or five feet away. Yeah. And now you look way far away. <laughs> you count, counting your nose hairs, and you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we're gonna probably probably need that. I think I have one in Rusty somewhere because uh, I went through a but bunch that of. That only them. adds about a little well, over. I'm not worried about the attic. Tape. It's got to be eliminated so that we can oh. feed the cable. Yeah, you got to cut through the there. Off. You got to cut off. It's the a buggy tip. So keeps the cable from right bird caging. Well, no, it keeps that thing on the end of it will not fit in that little hole. Well, so it will, but not good. <laughs> It'll crush it. Yeah, it won't, won't work well. Oh, that is a very tiny hole. No, it looks so tiny, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> But um, in any event, um, <laughs> um, that's what she said. Right? I'm over here being quiet for a change. I'm telling you, that, that's a very yeah, tiny hole. hole. Uh, you must be sick. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to need that thing more than likely. What do you got? What would you buy? He brought us pizza. Yeah, he did. Bought us yeah. He brought us some pizza there, though? Harbor, Harbor Freight Pizza. Harbor Freight Pizza? Yeah, that's, Chinese that's imported kind of, pizza? Yeah. It is. Oh, just, oh just, man. I don't know if I'd be into that. You just add water. Oh, here. I got this for you, Bill. Seaweed. Actually, it's for me from you. Merry mm. Christmas to me. Yeah, you might get paid. Mm. Might get it? paid. It's oh, a, you got a good fuel pump a, for a change? It's, or no, what? no, it's a cheap one. A mega who? A mega, mega flint. I thought it said mega flirt. <laughs> mega, mega squirt. Mega squirt. <laughs> mega squirt. <laughs> okay. You you that that's trademarked and copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> Came in the mail today. Good. Oh, All right. Shit. So that's about that's about it on it until we get the equipment on there and then we can try it. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, here's a little something I'm working on for a friend of mine. That doesn't even need to be there. I don't even know why it was. But this is his Empy uh, dual carburetor. Well, actually, it's a single dual carburetor into um, stock end castings for his Volkswagen. You probably saw us run up that engine a few weeks ago. And uh, one of the problems he had is just for some reason, uh, manufacturing defect or engine tolerances, or we don't know exactly what's wrong. But for some reason, this intake manifold is off-center. The throttle cable is supposed to come out dead center in it, and unfortunately it came out about half an inch too far to the left. So what I need to do is I need to cut a little piece off of the intake manifold here, about half an inch, and then weld it back onto this side. So that's something we're going to jump on today, and we're going to try to uh, get this together for him so that way he can put it on his car later on. So anyway, that's what we got, and uh, let's go ahead and jump on it and see what we can do. I'm telling you, every single time this car's outside, it gets rained on. Anyway, got to roll her back inside. Trying to get something done in the garage. Obviously, it's not going to happen. Well, definitely started raining. Yep. Just going to have to deal with that. Got Eleanor pushed in the garage as far as I could get her. And I'm continuing to work behind her in a dry area that I could do a little welding on a table. Anyway, frustrating as it is, and that's about the best I can do. Dark out here, though. I mean, geez, the lights came on. Street lights aren't on yet, though, but, I mean, that light came on. I see some of the neighborhood lights are on, too. Anyway, we'll get back to work.
Well, anyways, we've got that one wrapped up. Looking here, you notice it's not gold anymore. That's because I sandblasted it to try to make it look nice. I still have to clean off the bead blasting dust that's still stuck to it. But otherwise, it looks really good. My weld seam is virtually non-existent. I mean, you don't even see it. That came out real nice. Now you can opt to paint this if you want. Now, I pulled out one of my vintage Weber manifolds, and I compared the length of the pipes, and to my surprise, they're exactly the same size. So once I cut off that half an inch, from the uh, this side and moved it over to that side. That was actually the right thing to do. So it turns out that uh, Ampy didn't make their pipes the right length. Big surprise. <laughs> what a shocker. Anyway, I think Matt was going to be very, very happy with this one. I'll give it a good wash down for him and uh, give it back to him and get this thing bolt. And I'll probably be present while he bolts this thing on so he can get this thing running and back in his car again. Well, I think that just about sums up this one today. There's that intake manifold to make sure he gets that back soon. So thank you very much for watching. Please give me that thumbs up for a likey, likey, likey. Please click that subscribe button, leave a comment, and don't forget to pluck the little dingle belly that you see down next to the subscribe button. Now we get updates every time I upload a new video. And don't forget, you guys, check out Duckman Cycles VW Garage up on the Facebook group page. And if you'd like to email me, duckmancycles at duckshit.net. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.